Okay, welcome everybody to another Modo League. Going to be running some more Mono Black scam through today. Um, this is just selfie sex list, which I also saw Young Dingo manage to do very well with in the challenge over the weekend. So I've got quite a few videos of this deck on the channel. So if you want to check out some of those, they're all uh, I think they're in a playlist, so you can go and go and find that on the channel. Um, so if you haven't seen it before, the idea of this one is it's quite similar to the old. Well, so you get parts of the old scam package um, which used to be Rakdos the idea being that you can evoke grief and then not dead after all or this style affect it and then take two cards from the, opponent and the opponent's hand and be left with a 3-2 no sorry a 4-3 menace on the battlefield um, you also get other creatures that you can you know you can do that with Orcish Bowmasters and Dalfi Voidwalker um, so Dathy Void Walker especially you can cast something from the opponent that you've taken from the opponent and then bring back the Void Walker as a 4-3 attacker or to do the same thing again the following turn. Um, the key difference obviously we're not running red so we don't get Ragavan, Lightning Bolt, Fable of the Mirror Breaker but we do get to play Urza Saga so the powerful powerful uh, enchantment land um, and we get to play some artifacts that we're able to search for so this includes a number of sort of main deck hate pieces for various decks so we've got Nile Spellbomb for graveyard decks um, Shadow Spear just to gain us some life and things Pithing Needle to name problematic permanents and we get two copies of the rack which is able to just start dealing our opponent damage late game uh, we are getting to run um, you know we run a lot of the sort of normal mono black stuff so lot of removal fatal push edicts Liliana the veil is really good i really like having her um and then sideboard a lot of a few more things we can search out with as a saga um, and then anything good in in black um extra removal and, and the such so so yeah let's um get on into into the matches a uh, quick moto restart there um but yeah that's the general idea behind the deck um and as i say selfie sec is the i think still the current trophy leader plays this quite a lot um we'll be able to hear yeah 34 trophies this um one and yeah they play pretty much exclusively this i think so um so yeah thanks everyone for watching hope you're doing very well wherever you're watching from today and big thanks to everyone that is watching that's subscribed um if you haven't please do consider doing so it does mean a lot and does help the channel out um as usual do put any suggestions comments different plays that we could have made in the comments below always happy to, to try and discuss and try and improve so um yeah let's get into round number one right be on the play here and we see a reasonable hand. I'm going to keep it in the blind. Like we've got a lot of hand disruption. If we can go Inquisition, Thoughtseize, and then find another land for Liliana, preferably as a Saga would be nice. Uh, if we can rip Saga and go Inquisition, Thoughtseize, Inquisition, next turn Saga, Thoughtseize, that'd be ideal. But see what we draw. Any uh, any land will do. Okay, opponent has kept but then just uh conceded so don't know what's going on here might just resubmit might just be a uh, having to leave the league or well i mean we'll keep again don't really know what that was about but yeah our hand's fine uh, we'll get Urborg Inquisition. Uh, okay, so some sort of sacrifice deck. Um, let's take. Mayhem Devil is quite scary. We can't actually kill that either. No point in taking Bloodgast. I think it might actually we can kill it with Liliana. I think it might just be Fable here. Let's remind myself what Rampage does. Okay, so that can kill Liliana. Don't really want to play my Void Walker here. Goblin Bombardment. Okay. Uh 
Okay. Okay, we draw a land, which is nice. Uh, let's just go Saga Pass. Probably play our Bowmasters here. Oh, feed the swarm is brutal. Okay, wasn't expecting that. They don't play Sokanzan. Okay, we do have another land. Attack for two. I guess we could go not dead after all the bowmasters, or we could just play Voidwalker. I guess actually Voidwalker is pretty good because if they sacrifice the um, Bloodgast, it would get exiled. And we do have another one. Yeah, we'd be in amazing shape if uh, we still had the Saga. Okay, that's Bloodgast. Well, we'd love for them to sacrifice this and eat Voidwalker. Well, I don't have it eaten by Voidwalker. Three cards in hand for the opponent. Okay, we get to oh a borg. Okay. Let's attack with everything here. Probably just save the Urborg in hand. So in case we want to play Liliana at some point. So they're probably gonna go Mayhem Devil. Yeah. Okay, Bloodgast is gone. Okay, so we'll just go. We want to not dead after. We want to Undying Evil first. Because Undying Evil doesn't work if we not dead after all first. Because it, if Undying only works if it doesn't have a counter on. Although I think this actually works with that. Oh yeah, because it's not a counter. Okay, so they're going for killing both of our things. What do we want to save? Uh, we've got another Void Walker, so I'm just going to save the Bowmasters. They sacrifice their Mayhem Devil as well. Uh, actually, I probably should have saved the Voidwalker here because then we could have cast the um, Mayhem Devil, which would have then, see when they sacrifice stuff, could have gone nuts. Still going to get to bash him for quite a lot of damage here. Fairly insulated from Angraf's rampage. I wonder if we're meant to just attack with Mishra's factory here, to be fair. Okay, Swamp is good. So we could go land attack for six, or we could just go, I think I'm just gonna play Voidwalker. So go land, attack with everything. Uh, 
uh, yeah, I'll just play the Void Walker. Put lethal onto the field. I guess the opponent could have something like Anger of the Gods or Brotherhood's End, but unlikely, I should imagine. Void Walker can also stop, I don't know, some sort of blood gas looping here. If they make a sacrifice a creature or sacrifice the orc. Okay, they have their own bowmaster. Oh, and then they can sacrifice something, yeah, okay. Yeah, maybe we should have saved the um Sorry, maybe we should have saved the uh, Void Walker. The, yeah, the Void Walker. So I think here we're just going to go. Oh, that was wrong. Well, well, doesn't really matter, actually. I'm going to go Liliana. I think we should probably attack first. we edict they they're probably running the scam spells I think I want to attack first yeah I shouldn't have played this first attack with everything because so what I don't want to do I guess it would come back tap So if I do this, if they have if they have the scam spell, they're at three. I don't really want to do that. But they I suppose they can sacrifice it anyway. So yeah, we'll have them sacrifice. Yeah, they just kill Liliana in response, which is fine. Put to three. Um, so I kind of want to sacrifice the bowmasters here to have two lethal threats, but. I guess they'd have to kill that at some point. Does it matter? They're not likely to draw cards, but I think I want to keep the Bowmaster around because they'd have to kill this at some point anyway. Yeah, sacrifice the Orc. Could potentially get more of those. Okay, Saga's a good draw. Yeah, so we just animate the factory and attack. If they have a push or a bolt, I suppose they could push the, they could bolt or push the factory, but then, yeah, Boomass is just so good. Okay, we're well, not sure what happened in the first game, but um, yeah, see you for round two. All right, on the play again for round number two. Um, this is okay. I don't like these not dead after alls, but if we can go, Inquisition, yeah, I think it's fine. We go Inquisition. If we ever find a Grief, it's really, really good. Also, like our third land potentially. But some, you know, we might randomly just hose some sort of graveyard strategy with this spell bomb. Okay, Inquisition. Okay, so it's Tron. That's not really what we wanted. So they got Tower, Tower, Stirring Star. 
Uh, so I think we just take the stirrings. They can play the Besaidu to get the green. So yeah, we'll just go take stirrings here. This turn we'll go Saga, Spell Bomb. Let's just draw Grief, which would be nice. Okay, Void Walker. Not great. Well, it's okay, actually. Can potentially cast something big from there. Uh, hand if we ever find another Thoughtseize style effect. Okay, so they find as is mine and they make a Scion. So let's exile there. Should have actually done this um, without the star in the graveyard. Because now Khan can go and get that potentially. Okay, another not dead after all. So I think what I'm going to do here. So what do we know they have in hand? played one tower, they've played the star, they've played the whale. So they've got two cards that we don't know. If one of them's Tron, trouble is we're going to have to get rid of this anyway. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go Liliana, Edict them, pass the turn. So then next turn we can go play Voidwalker, start ticking up. Okay, another tower. Okay, so I don't want to make the token here, but there's no point in making the mana. I think I'm just going to get Pithing Needle. Yeah, because I want to get Void Walker down. Could get the rack. I think I'm just going to get Pithing Needle for Khan. Khan the Great Creator. Play the factory, play Void Walker plus. And then we'll just pass the turn. has to be a little bit careful about what they discard. They discard the worm coil engine. So next turn we're going to go uh, play worm, well not dead after all, the void walker play worm coil engine. Okay, they play the one ring. Okay, we draw another saga, which is nice. So let's go plus here. They play Besaidu. So they have three cards in hand. Okay, they're going to draw some cards. I think we're meant to. Hmm, we could. Yeah, let's get rid of Not Dead after all. Okay, so then let's just go this. Sacrifice this. We'll cast a worm coil engine. Play the saga and pass. Like the ring, we could have peeling needle with the ring, but they're just as like actually they're usually more likely to draw Khan than the ring. Okay, another ring, which means we can cast the ring, which we probably do here. 
they play saga. Yeah, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna play the ring. Okay, another saga is quite nice. <laughs> okay. We could play the ring, or I could just go nine them. I think this is gonna be lethal next turn anyway. Let's plus see what we hit. Okay, the discard sphere. I guess sacking the Void Walker is bad into exactly um Like if they find exactly worm coil, but I think I'm gonna go for this. Like they lose a life from the wicked roll as well. Cast their one ring. We'll gain protection, which doesn't do too much. Okay, Malakir Rebirth is interesting. Let's go. And I make the factory attack for eight. Notably, we can't um, rebirth the worm coil. Well, we can cast rebirth on the worm coil engine, but it would come back under the opponent's control. Oh, yeah, there wasn't any point in attacking there. I forgot they played another ring. The trouble is they're drawing so many cards. They only need to find something like Ulamog. Okay, they find a forest. They still haven't found Tron. They could play their own worm coil. Maybe that was a, you know, something that we should have thought about when playing, when sacking the Void Walker. I don't think... Oh no, so Sphere, they do get the card. I don't know why they played the forest. Okay, they find map. So they play, so they're gonna have Tron online next time. So I should have actually thought about that. Like attacking last turn, it didn't actually matter because we couldn't do anything. So yeah, casting the ring was better. Okay, so we'll make a construct. I doubt we can attack for enough here, but we are gonna make quite a big board. Uh, right, so we don't need, we can't do both of these, so I guess we do this one now. Although if we draw something we might not want to. If we go through, we could in theory do both. So that would make this a, hmm. So we could make the construct so it'll be a five, a six, a seven, which would be 13. I think we'll make one here. Tapping double black is a bit awkward, but I think that's fine. What are we gonna get? Oh no, the rack's no good. Unless we draw like thought seas. Shadow Spear, we're better off just making another construct. I will get one of them. Activate, I should have activated this really to draw first. Okay, find another Liliana. So go Lily plus. Discard. I think just Malakir Rebirth. 
So it's attacking for 12 at the moment. They discard Kozilek. So that must mean they have something enormous in hand. Um, we'll play the land. So this is 12. The biggest we can make it is we could go Animate Factory, which would be 13, place Shadow Spear 14. But actually, I think if they have Oblivion Stone, if they have exactly Oblivion Stone, that's really bad. Oh, they are going to take three damage. No, two damage. So they're at 15. We're attacking for 12. We could make it 13. Does it matter? So essentially at 15, we go, we're attacking for 12, we can make it 13, 14, so put them to one. But then how do we deal with the last point of damage? I guess we can attack with factory. Don't really want shadow spear. guess oh what if we attack with factory this is 12 13 f oh yeah that's enough okay just do this play the shadow spear i forgot that uh, mistress factory can attack yeah sorry that was a bit of a slow roll but did eventually get there goes to one and then dies to the ring unless they have anything amazing that can gain them loads of life but I don't think they do yeah okay so yeah uh, I can imagine people screaming at the uh, at me there for just animate the factory but um, yeah we do eventually foresee the line Right, Tron. We do have some sideboard against Tron, but it's good, very good to win game one. So we want the extra Pithing Needle. Uh, we don't want the Spell Bomb. The Shadow Spear was fine there. Uh, we want both copies of Break the Ice. Get rid of all the Fatal Push. Don't want Cling to Dust. Uh, Ashiok is okay. Necromancer is pretty good, naming a Tron land. Shieldred's Edict. Um, okay, all those are fine. All that's fine. Yes, yeah, so we've got one more card. So it's either Ashiok or Torak, I think. Oh, Damping Sphere. Okay, did miss the two Damping Spheres there. Um, so we definitely want those. So they're definitely better than these cards. So what are these better than? It could be Wrench Mind. It could be one copy of the Rack. Given that they're a ring deck. Yeah, let's try that. Right, I think this is a bit slow. I think we have much better starts. I'm gonna mulligan this. Like we don't have any hand disruption. This is better. Um, I think I will keep, we'll bottom one of these Urborgs. Like if we can find a scam spell, not dead after all, or undying evil, we can go grief, pitch Liliana, turn to break the ice. Okay, tower, map. Okay, draw. Another swamp isn't great, but uh, that's fine. Okay, so we'll just go past the turn. Turn two, break the ice, turn three, Liliana. These are nice swamps. Yeah, I like that. Okay, they play tower. Okay, well they crack for green, ancient stirrings. I guess, oh, that does mean that we can't, we don't want to break the ice here. 
like hitting the tower. Okay, shield disease is interesting. Hmm. Yeah, we don't want to. We don't want to break the ice because they've got one of the Tron pieces. So actually, that's a bit awkward. But obviously, we're happy that they didn't have it. Okay, so it depends what we draw here. Love to draw. Okay, Bowmasters isn't the best. So let's just go. Let's cast this. I guess they could have Veil of Summer. And. Yeah, we'll just play the extra one, pass the turn. Don't want to play uh, ball before it's time. Okay, they're going to go and get another power plant, I imagine. Yeah. So now we'll just go grief. Four cards on hand. Ooh, that's interesting. That's really good. Okay, so we'll go land Liliana. Liliana plus. So we're either getting rid of Edict or Bowmaster. I think it's just Edict. Okay, and then we'll go, oh, oh yeah, we have to get rid of both anyway, so <laughs> that's fine. Okay, put the evoke trigger on the stack first in case they have like dismember or something. Okay, they have the ring, they have another, they do have the mine, so we, oh, I mean, we're taking both anyway. So I don't wanna shuffle the ring back in, so we'll take Kozilek and then rebirth it. Oh, okay, so we let that go. Okay, take the ring. So they have Tron. So we just need to avoid them finding anything really good. Uh, let's just tick up. Attack for three. Need to fade quite a few draw steps though. Well, it's not that many because Liliana can ultimate next turn, which we will do. I think um, anything else is very, very greedy. Okay, they're paying costs. Okay, map. Ooh, map is interesting. Because if we, let's say we draw another Liliana would have been nice. So we can ultimate, they float mana. So then if we split them, these three, so we'd have to go, we can't actually ultimate now, but then they just hold up the map forever. I guess we could go power plant. No, if we go, yeah, there's no, given that they drew the map, there's no way of splitting this up in such a way that they can't get Tron next turn. Because they just go float the mana. And then I don't think there's any way of doing it because we're always going to have to put two with one. So actually I'm just going to plus. Oh, I guess we could have put the map with the the yeah okay. oh that was stupid should have put the map with the towers 
So we just, yeah, I forgot. Oh, God, that was a big error. Now they've essentially got just like another draw step. They're going to get Saga, I imagine. Okay, they get Power Plant. Okay, so we need to we need to fade another draw. Mm, what have they got? Oh no. We've been mega punished by the look of it. This might be the Mog. Yeah, that's real punished. So I needed to go. Yeah, I should have either, I should have ultimated put map with the three towers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I threw away that game. So we go ultimate three towers and map. Fee. Oh no. Oh, I'm talking rubbish. <laughs> so we go three towers versus um, these two, but then they just go fetch up the tower. So they would have had, they still have had Tron, but only seven mana. But I mean, it would have cut off this, but they could have found Carl and they could have found Worm Coil Engine. So it wasn't actually that as clear cut. Okay. Um, I think we just resubmit. Yeah. Maybe Shieldred is worse than like Ashiok, but this is fine. Yeah, so there's no way to stop them having Tron there, but it would have cut off Ulamog or Kozilek as draws, so it's probably better. Okay, we have to mulligan this hand. Uh, this is fine. We'll keep this bottom the edict, I think. Just try and go Inquisition, Thoughtseize, Liliana. They've multi five. Gonna prioritize. Well, we'll see what their hand looks like, but we're probably prioritizing taking um, like land search for now. Inquisition, oh, Inquisition misses, okay. That's not great. I'd quite like Dalfi Voidwalker. Okay, the rack's not bad, actually. Thought sees you. Um, we'll take the one ring, play the rack. And next turn we'll play Liliana and yeah. See what they find. Okay, they play the forest. They could besage you the rack. Okay, they found a sphere. Okay. Land. Lily start discarding we are empty handed now but like things like break the ice are really good draws they discard worm coil so they have two lands in hand they can draw now to stop them taking damage from the rack Wonder if they'll besage you. Okay, they have the scrying. Okay, still two lands in hand. So I need to find. Okay, that's a good draw. So you get a trigger off the star as well. I think I said this in the previous game, but this one. So this one you can respond to with Bowmasters. The sphere you can't. You don't get any priority part of the mana activation so they could besage you the rack here but I mean that's not amazing like it is shocking them every turn at the moment 
Well, they fight a scrying, so they have Tron. I would imagine they'll... Hmm. I wouldn't be surprised to see them besaid you the rack, but I guess that turns on Shieldred for us. Okay, they play a map. They could sack it and besaid you. Okay, go okay, and just get swamp. Ooh, surprised they do this, because I think they played a land this turn, we're just going to discard whatever land they find with Liliana. It's quite basic. I think they realise that. Uh, right, just attack for three. Uh, yeah, well, plus. And then this turn, we'll think about what we want to do with Lily. Got here. Oh, <laughs> that's so bad. Oh, that's really bad. That's going to activate it. Really? Wait, what's this five mana? Why have they not done that? Power plant mine. I mean, I'm ultimating, right? Because they're just going to. Very surprised at that. Okay, so what lands are in the bin? So there's a tower in the bin. So we want to we want to do that because then they're less likely to find the tower. So there's one expedition map in the graveyard. So we're gonna pithing needle some, or maybe we, I could just keep hold of the pithing needle. Yeah, let's see if they play anything. Need to draw, that's not a good draw. draw some pressure if we drawn undying evil instead of pithy needle that would have been really good because he could have gone undying evil the bow masters yeah we need to want to draw like void war could be fine grief would be really good um, another lily wouldn't be too bad a break the ice would be good uh, opponent saying they uh, pass the turn without realizing I could ultimate the lily. Okay, factory is good. Let's do this. Am I going to play the pithing needle? What would we name? I think so. I think I'm going to name the one ring. I think that's the best way they get out of it here. Okay, Saga's a good draw. So you can Undying Evil a Mistress Factory. Okay, we get in some damage. Okay, they make green. They could still unscrew. Oh, they find Tron. It's worm coil engine. Okay, well, we pithing needle the right one, at least.
So they have Tron. If we find Break the Ice, we can uh, Armageddon them. They have a lot of mana here. Another ring, okay. So yeah, definitely Pithing Needle with the right one. Okay, so let's do this. I think I'm gonna pithing need get pithing needle again. Uh, this time naming oh it could be Khan the Great Creator. It could be Oblivion Stone. Uh, what do we think? I think it's Khan the Great Creator. We haven't actually seen Khan yet. We name Oblivion Stone. Hmm. Let's go Khan. They've seen one. Khan the Great Creator. Play a land. They have ring protection, so. We do have lethal next turn. They have six, nine mana, so they're short of Ulamog. But they could play Worm Coil Engine. Now they're not short of Ulamog. Oh, it's not Ulamog again, is it? Uh, looks like it. Yeah, it's always Ulamog. So the last two cards were land Ulamog. Uh, they get rid of those two, which is interesting. Oh, I guess it makes our constructs a lot worse and they get to draw with the ring. Okay, so we need to draw Uh, don't really know now. Not dead after all does not help us. We're going to attack with everything. Okay, that's good for us. The opponent blocks there. So we go not dead after all it. Because this deals an extra damage as well. it comes back in it comes back in the enchantment attaches itself uh, but then immediately falls off okay opponent's got two cards in hand we can attack again oh. <laughs> Yeah. So yeah, we've, um, I don't know, I feel like we were kind of okay here, but so now we need to find like Liliana or something. Ooh, Shieldred's Edict's nice. Uh, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, so now the opponent loses to their ring, potentially. Each opponent sacrifices a non-token creature. Animate the factory. Oblivion Stone will not uh, destroy the factory. They go to two. 
Uh, sorry, go to one, and then they have one counter on the ring. Oh, off for maintenance soon. Okay, I don't think there's any way out of this. Draw some cards. Yeah, okay, well, um, yeah, I think, yeah, big misplay from the opponent not um, realizing that Lilia was on six. Um, I think. Yeah, I think we were fairly lucky, obviously ripping that one of the cards that wins us the game there. Really, really good. Opponent also made, I think, blocking the uh, Mistress Factory was potentially bad. But there we go. Uh, we'll take the win and see you for round three. Right, interesting hand here. I think I'm going to... Hmm. So go turn two Bowmasters with Shadow Spear and Pithing Needle. Hmm. I think we'll try this in the blind. Like Piving Needle could be good, Shadow Spear could be good. We've got Scam Spell. Okay, there. Jimson Cavern's Pitch Besage You. So you'd think this was Rhinos. Rhino's fallen out of favour since the banning of Violent Outburst, although we're still big fans of it on this channel. If you want to see some uh, Rhino's content, various sorts of Rhino's brews. Agatha's Soul Cauldron, okay, well, we're going to pithy needle that one. Um, so we'll go Mistress Factory Needle. Agatha's Soul Cauldron. Okay, so this is Hardened Scales. Yeah, that makes much more sense. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, Turn off water yields. Because I might as well play Shadow Spear. <laughs> yeah, there's Hardened Scales. Hopefully they go like automation. We just edict it. Okay, Ballista. Um, okay, so it is annoying, but yeah, I'm just gonna edict the Ballista. They're gonna shoot Lily in response. Could take up, but then they kill Lily anyway. I'd rather get rid of the Ballista before they can put any Get anything else out. So yeah, they go ping ping Lily, ping us. The next turn we have Bowmaster. Okay, Ravager is very good. Hmm, don't really want to inquisition them. So they could go all in on a Nexus here. Hmm, that's pretty good. So they could sacrifice this to put counts on here. I don't think we can actually get away from this. If they if they go for it, we just lose. Okay, so let's go, Bowmaster. them yeah if they'd gone for it there we would have lost to the ink moth nexus um, I think we just pass here
But again, if they go for it, if they go start stacking stuff off on the ink moth nexus, we lose sideboard. Have we got against affinity? Affinity, uh, hardened scales. Edict okay, break the ice is probably good, pithy needles good, cursed totem we probably bring in, damnation. Okay, they animate the nexus, play another Zabaz. Put some counters on there, which makes it a three. Uh, sorry, a five, five. I guess they're playing, they should play around Fatal Push. It's probably what they're playing around. But like they kind of know we don't have it. Like we probably would have gone for it end of combat last time, end of turn. But we could have drawn it, of course. Okay, but we 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 just have to bluff it here. I hope we actually do find it. Okay, cling to dust is not great. Cling to dust the lily. Yeah, okay. Uh yeah, we'll just concede they just have to attack. So we successfully bluffed a couple of times. We were just dead if the opponent went for it. Oh, I thought we were doing so well. Think about that patchwork thing, they don't play that in this deck. Yeah, so we had a good start. Struggle to deal with um Enchantments and artifacts in mono black. Okay, so damnation, break the ice, fatal push, edict, pithing needle, uh, cursed totem. Liliana's not great. Cling to dust is fine because they do run the soul cauldron. Wrench mine doesn't seem that good. Spell bomb again is okay. Shadow spear is good. I think I'll trim. Yeah, some number of lilies, probably all of them. Void walk is actually really good here because it stops their. Um, it stops the. What's the what's the mechanic called? Modular abilities because things don't die. Um, Shieldred is probably a little bit slow. The rack is fine. Shadow Spear is fine. Spell bomb. Do we want a one-off spell bomb for this Soul Cauldron? I don't think so. I think we've got some of the other things that are perhaps better. Edict. I think yeah, that many edicts is probably not right either. Like giving them the choice is, is not great. Uh, yeah, that sounds fine. But like we could do with drawing another land. But you know, we've got some hate pieces. With hardened scales does mean our bow masters is not quite as good potentially. Do find a land though. Just go land. I'm just going to play the cursed totem. This does mean we can't uh, use Void Walker, but I don't think we're really doing that anyway. I'll have to draw break the ice. Okay, Soul Cauldron. Okay, another grief. So we'll just pass the turn here. I 
So I actually don't want to use cling to dust. Just going to bow master. What is this? Target legendary creature gets plus one plus one. Okay, find another Urborg. So I think we'll go. Hmm. Yeah, like play the Urborg, keep this one, play Grief. Because they can't activate um, stuff with Cauldron anyway. They get Tamiyamu's Safekeeping. They have the One Ring. Which I think we have to say. Oh, they do play the autom automaton. Um, I mean, it's just got to be the ring, right? Yeah. I guess the ring into Bowmaster. They're going to make some constructs. So you can grief again. Yeah, I think we had to take the ring. Like, we just can't have them drawing loads and loads of cards, especially with another grief in hand. Piffing Needle, okay. Naming Lily Honor of the Veil. Okay, well, we sided all those out. I will double block here. Oh, what does this give? Hexproof and Indestructible. So if I go block, block, they use that, but then we just damnation everything. surprised they uh, went for that. Saga's a great draw. Okay, so let's go Grief. So they have an Ozolith. I think we're just taking creatures. They have another Saga. My Ozolith is really scary. How bad is it if they go patchwork into this? Um, hmm. I think I'm just gonna take. I'm gonna take Tamios. And then they can go Saga Automa Automaton. Oh, it does get a counter. But then eventually we just damnation everything away. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, we'll um we'll just jump. I wonder if I meant to just block now. Position. Oh, that's okay actually. So we can go Inquisition, see what their last card is, make a construct. Hmm, I think what's next to us is a bit scary. Do we attack here? No. Just trying to grind them out. Can we survive enough to, uh, enough turns to damnation away the saga? Oh, that's bad actually, because now they can go. 
if we damnation they can put all of the counters onto onto nexus yikes yeah this is really bad I think I was greedy I guess we can piffing needle actually name nexus Can we afford to take another hit? So we go make a construct because we want to get these constructs out of here essentially. Yeah, I think we have to make a construct. Get piffing needle name ink moth. Play a land and pass. Just because, I mean, we could die here. They're going to make a cons. We block the construct. Oh, actually, I uh, shouldn't be auto yielding. Oh, that was. I should have I should have exiled the grief with cling to dust that might cost us the game because we'd have been at 23 I have to block here take okay they get welding jar but that's fine. Oh, that might have cost us the game, you know. So we go block, take loads of damage. Block here, take 19. If I was at 23, I could have gone block here, take... Block here, take uh, 1923. But then, uh, then they wouldn't have had a counter and tap and damnation and everything. We possibly win the game. Whereas now we have to, yeah, I just auto yielded by accident. Need to find exactly fatal push. Nineteen, yeah, okay. Uh, I guess that's not actually true because they have the hanger back walker so we damnation everything away we draw the marsh flats but then they just attack us to death with that yikes that was rough okay well we uh, yeah get well and truly shown what's what by hardened scales but see you for the next round right round number what's this round number four uh, yeah we can keep this we'll see what we're against which depends whether we want to go thought season on one. I think I do. Oh, what did they reveal? Kahira. Yeah, I'm going to thought seize here. Kahira, it's probably control. Yes, yeah, so they get subtlety. I'm just going to take prismatic ending. At the moment, they have to two for one themselves on the other ones. I'm just going to resolve Void Walker here. Oh, thought they'd drawn to Fairy then. Okay, they Solitude. That's fine. Right, two for one. Well, kind of a two for one. Uh, let's go Saga, Spellbomb, Spellbomb them, we can do this right now I think, mm -hmm. in case we draw, I 
another thought sees or something. Oh, the one ring. That's gross. Oh, we draw another land? Play the factory and pass. I mean, we're just going to try and saga them. We get 18. Got so many cards, though. We are going to pithing needle the one ring. Don't to fairy me. Yeah, that's that's a brutal turn of events. Well, we draw the pithing needle anyway. So let's go Saga. Animate Nex uh, Nexus. Got hardened scales on the brain. We'll attack both of these at Teferi. Play the Pithing Needle. Uh, the one. One ring and pass the turn. Okay, they immediately ending the one ring. Okay, we'll play. I think we can play another saga now. Animate here. They were not meant to animate if they have solitude. Yeah, this is probably incorrect. Forcing them to make a good block now. Okay, so they exile that. Okay, so we will kill the solitude. They go back up to nineteen, though. Narset. See what they reveal. Okay, ending. They got nine cards in hand. Okay, so better make a construct. Uh, can't actually. Don't have another pithing needle. The rack seems very ambitious, so we'll just go shadow spear. Go factory inquisition. It's a counter spell. Yeah. Okay, now this is probably a loss, um, but they have to kill us with all these saga tokens. I think our plan is now to just grind like saga. Um, I think I think we're going to attack with Mishra's Factory into the Nars. Oh, actually, we're probably just attacking them now, in all honesty. Play another saga. I guess the problem is if they have exactly solitude.
I think we're going for it. But they are more than likely to have a solitude. Especially now they just draw all over the ring. Okay, they're binding. Got the solitude as well. Subtlety. Okay, that's pretty good. Maybe attack. Yeah, maybe attacking there was really bad, but. Well, they're definitely not going to be taking any damage from the rack anytime soon. Surprised they don't bounce their own ring there. Okay, they play another one, so now we probably are just dead. I have to discard seven cards. We're at twenty life. I think this matchup's probably quite difficult. Well, Shieldred's interesting. Oh, I should play the Swamp there. Oh, we can't knock dead after all anyway. Um, well, let's play the Voidwalker and pass. They could just subtlety this, I guess. Obviously, pit supreme verdict. Put that on the bottom. They go to six, but I'm assuming they have more solitudes in hand. Well, two are gone. Herb always interesting. So let's go land. I think at this point I just want to cling to dust the their creatures. Like gaining three life. Seems fine. Like we're not gonna win on damage. We have to win on. Uh, sorry, we're not going to win by attacking them, I don't think. Okay, they do have Solitude. Trouble is if they have another one, but they've probably got another binding as well. They go to four. See, so yeah, I'll make a construct when they attack, try and block the solitude. It'll probably get ending or binding, yeah. We've got 10 cards in hand though. Oh, sorry, 10 cards in library. Another ring. Can they, I mean, this is six. Okay, so we'll make another construct. Get another rack, I guess. <laughs> Um, play a land, equip here. Trouble is the opponent can go bounce this. 
or bounce binding binding this they both do the same thing I guess cosmic rebirth okay that's another bind yeah we, we'll just concede now um, there's no way we, like they're going to attack for 6 here yeah cool deck I do, I do like that Got some big uh, magic tournaments coming up, uh, some RCQs and a big, big modern one here in the UK. So this is one of the uh, decks I'm considering for that. Not sure what the best option is at the moment. Okay, so here, what do we want? We want Torak. We want Shieldred's Edict. Uh, I want Piffing Needle. Wrench mine seems fine, Void Walker. We need to get out of the gates really, really early here. Fatal Push. Uh, Shadow Spear is not great. Spell Bomb's not great. I can to break the ice. Fatal Push. Could consider Ashiok, but I don't think so. Um, maybe it's a Spell Bomb to draw a card. Um, I guess Spellbomb has applications against what's it called? Um, yeah, Spellbomb has applications against Cosmic Rebirth. I think that's probably fine. Like I quite like all most of our cards here. Bomas good, Lily's good, Torax good. But the Edict effects tend to be quite good. Yep, like to play first here. So this is, we only have one land here, but we do have a good hand. Although it's got no pressure. I think I need to mulligan this one. If it had some pressure as well. Um, this hand's not great either, but I guess we keep, like maybe we should have kept that other one. Okay, so we'll just go land, pithing needle. What are we gonna name? I'm just gonna name Teferi. Oh, uh, Teferi, Time Raveler. This turn I'll probably just play Torak. Like they'll probably struggle to kill it and then. Ooh, Saga's nice. Okay, Saga, cast Torak. Like just a two one. Like they could subtle to it. But nothing in their deck kills it, I don't think. They don't usually run bolt. I don't think. Sometimes they run fire ice. Okay, they're ending the needle. Void Walker. Don't want to play Urborg just yet. Well, maybe it doesn't matter. Gives them an extra card for. Um, an extra type for binding is the problem. But Okay, so it looks like they might have to fairy here, which is okay. They're going to bounce our saga. Let's make a token. Um, okay, so let's play the saga again. I think I want to get full you. Oh, I guess actually we can go Void Walker. Happy if they subtlety this. Okay, they do subtlety. So I think I'm just gonna put that on, well. Do I put it on the bottom? I think so, got another one. I could, I could just grief here because this implies they probably have a ring. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna grief. 
Like it gets rid of a lot of stuff is the problem. But I think they have something they want to protect. Yeah, they do have a ring. They have a ley line of sanctity as well. Um, I'm just going to take the ring. Okay, and then we'll just go. If they want to, I'm just going to attack them and attack Teferi. If they want to pitch Solitude to eat my token, then we're absolutely fine with that. Okay, they cast the ley line, which is okay. Okay, play this. Attack with everything. Oh, should have made the token first. Not that after all is quite nice because it saves uh, Torak from Supreme Verdict. Opponent does go to seven. So let's make a construct. Make another construct. Okay, this solitude now. Get rid of one of those. We are going to attack with everything. Oh, we can get the rack here. Yeah, get that. Tap with everything. They have to block. I'm going to take two damage. They need Supreme Verdict. But we do have not dead after all for Torak. Shieldred's a nice draw. So let's say I think we're attacking with everything. That they could go I guess Yeah, we'll attack with everything. If they go another solitude. Okay, that's fine. Okay, yeah, because they needed to. Okay, so if we go for Shieldred, they lose two and then two, but that's really bad in Supreme Verdict. So I'm actually going to wait. They go to three. So the attack, they could have subtlety. Yeah, that's fine. Because then we get to go uh, not dead after all. Pass the turn. They go to one. Yep. Okay. So we get there. I mean, even verdict now with this wicked roll token um, ends up pinging them. Okay. So don't think there's anything we want to change really. So yeah. We managed to, to kind of come out of that one. I, th I thought the hand was going to be too slow, but maybe we are okay to grind. It's just, yeah, I think the, the key term was that um, where we went for Void Walker and they subtleteed it. Like they went down on cards, but then, I mean, and then we went, it, it was kind of obvious they had a ring. Okay, we have to mulligan this one, sadly. Oh, this one's not good either. Mm, this is bad. 
so we could go factory the rack and then grief but if we rip exactly land land but i think we have to mulligan this is better actually yeah this is a lot better so we have the scam so we'll put back spell bomb cling okay Place a veil. Okay, so what we'll do, is it worth griefing here? So if we go grief, pit, shield, druid, rebirth it, we can't then, we do lose a land, but I think it's, yeah, I think we have to go for this here. If they go subtlety, we're in a lot of problems. Or sol oh, <laughs> they do have it. Okay, so now I think we have to put it on the bottom. Because oh, we could do the same thing again next turn, but if they go counter spell, it's just really bad for us. another one on top okay so that probably means that, that means they don't have another land in hand okay we do draw the land which is really nice but yeah I'm not slamming straight into um, count spell because they did shock in so we can be pretty sure they have count spell here I think we're gonna go for bowmaster though as like a f almost like a faint they'll probably go count spell dress down okay wasn't expecting that one okay well, we'll attack for one play Liliana Liliana plus, I think we'll get rid of the Edict. Or is it just second Lily? If they binding, I think I'm just gonna get rid of the Edict. I'd rather have a second Lily. Okay, they discard subtlety. I guess I couldn't subtlety the Liliana there. Oh, I wonder if I should be, yeah, let's animate this. Tap with everything. Make binding. Oh, yeah, I can't play second Lily is the problem. That's fine though. Let's go plus. Discard, not dead after all. They discard a ring. They must have another ring. Yeah. Love to draw Bowmaster. Got three cards in hand. Okay, draw a swamp. I think I'm just discarding that. Trouble is Liliana just can't keep up with the ring now. But like if we get to ultimate, which we probably don't because they probably find binding. Oh, okay, or well, we just can't ultimate because of that. Okay, your bowmaster is pretty good. Uh, ping us. Is 
Notably, uh, you, we are able to shoot our own orc army. I got a fourth, no, no fourth archive. Yeah, that ley line sanctity is quite brutal actually. Okay, let's go. Yeah, oh, we can't inquisition them anyway. Okay, well, we'll keep ticking up then. They do have, yeah, the problem is now they've got enough mana to just solitude. I think I just have to pass. Because if they go solitude, eat one. Yeah. And now we have to block with factory. There's nothing really that can save us now, I don't think. Except them dying to their own ring. But they now, like, they had no cars now. Now they have nine. Like, the ring is just. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of ridiculous. They're going to attack. I have to. I have to block, and if they have another one, we just concede. Yeah, Lily's just kind of inconsequential against uh, the One Ring. Right, they're taking four damage, so if if they go, yeah, we can see to a subtlety, a uh, solitude here. They've gone through some, but there's so much stuff to bounce the ring and what have you as well. Okay, yeah, we'll just concede. We can't we can't beat this now. Yeah, the ring is very good into what we're trying to do specifically. Okay. Well, yeah, we uh get shown the door by blue white control as well. I think that was close. Um obviously one of the trophy leaders. Okay, well we got one more match. Let's see if we can can end positive. Right, another Kahira deck. Um, what do you think of this? We only one land, but you have three thoughts. He's of expert, no pressure. Although, but you have a rack. If we can find a land, I think I'm gonna mulligan. If we find a grief or a land in the top few cards, it's really, really good. Let's give it a go. Let's see how we get on with it. Like, we've got four griefs, 21 more land. are all really really good draws start with an inquisition okay to fairy take that so it looks like the same uh guy reach sanitarium yes yeah, so same sort of deck right okay push so we actually find one of the worst cards in the deck to draw um double ring okay so they've got hmm i'm just gonna start taking the rings like the rings just too good they only have one land after this though oh, but they can sur surveil with the archive okay so they put nasa into the graveyard do they find their third land They do. Right, do we find our second? We don't. Okay, so I think this turn we just have to take a turn off. Okay, guy reach. So, yeah, not paying off at the moment. Let's see a land. Uh, well, I'm gonna draw a card. I found ice. Okay, we do draw a land, which is really good. OK, 
okay notably oh so they've got if they have exactly blue card oh they, they do have solitude though so I think I'm just going to go for thought seize here yeah yeah they did have a blue card so again just going to take so we either take oh no because they can just solitude our grief okay I'm just going to take the ring again pass the turn kind of don't want them to hit a land Okay, play Narset. See what they hit. Because that determines whether we grief or not. We probably do anyway. Okay, they hit Lorien Revealed. They'll probably cycle that. Okay. So, let's go grief. Exiling, fatal push. We're happy enough, yeah. Face saddle to okay. So we can fetch actually. We want to put this on the bottom because they've got solitudes anyway. Oh, they can start nar setting us though, which is a problem. So go bottom Liliana. Okay. So they have Lorim revealed. I guess they might be waiting to. If they just draw a land, they can just draw three with it. Okay, they do find a land, but no double white for Solitude. But the trouble is now we can just never draw a card. So they got rid of Solitude, so they have Lauren Revealed in hand. So we'll play this. Plus Lily. Oh, they must have pitched the Lauren Revealed, did they? Oh, okay. The trouble is we can never draw cards. But we're still like okay. And we have K okay, Pone does use Oh Narset Days Undoing. They found Days Undoing, so we just lose. Unfortunately. Um, okay, so we'll discard grief. And then we'll pithing needle the Gaia Reach Sanitarium. Plus. Yeah, that day's I'm doing is brutal. Because like we had them, we actually had them pretty well. Well, I don't know, we were never drawing any cards and they got to loop through again and again, I guess. They can also, like they've shuffled all their rings back in. We k 
can in theory ultimate next turn. Which we may do. Okay, red, so it could be. Okay, they play the ring, so we can't ultimate this turn. Factor is a good draw. You don't mind factory. Feels like uh, some of these games, like Liliana's just. Uh, it's, well, it's kind of been holding the four is our only hope, but it's a fairy. Oh, I think it's bind uh, prismatic ending on Lily. Uh, that's rough. Uh, they can't play Solitude here. I think we're going to hold the land. Could attack Nars, uh, but yeah, I think yeah we're not winning on the longer game. We'll hold the land for guy reach purposes. Okay, they do have the subtlety. The rack just not very. The rack and Liliana just not very good in this, the face of the One Ring. Okay, we have another ring. We we'll just concede. I've seen some mono black lists uh, not playing the kind of scam sagas. I think they might still be playing scam, but they're play, they've adopted the ring and a load of field ruins and stuff. Right, so here, same again, really. Torak, Piffing Needle. E we do want, yeah, we definitely want Edict. I wonder if I meant to like Necromancer the Ring. So I'll get rid of Spellbomb, Shadow Spear, Cling. I think the rest of it is okay. I think the rack is just kind of not. Oh, we don't don't want these fatal pushes. Definitely not. Um, leaving a rack. I wonder if we're meant to just necromancer the ring. I think we might be able. Might be actually. Something like that. Uh, spell bomb just worse than soul guide. Yeah, I think I, I think it's fine. Two Liliana of the Veils and a Necromancer. Hmm. I think we'll mulligan this. I'm not doing anything till turn three. This hand's not great either, but I mean we're gonna keep another one lander. We'll bottom one of these effects. I have to leave with a tap land, unfortunately. But again, if we can rip a if we can rip an untap land for Torak and then Thought Seize.
We did see Fire Ice, which is not great into Torak. Oh, that's a really good draw. Okay, we'll go Grief, Exiling. Ooh. Um, I think it's just Edict. Don't subtlety us. <laughs> yeah, another subtlety. Okay. I mean, we'll put it on top. Thoughtsies. Okay, so we have to take the counts. Oh, they've got solitudes as well. So you have to take count spell. So now we go grief, exile Torak. Okay, so they didn't go for the solitude, so we'll take solitude and then not dead after all. Take the ring. I guess they can go by Kahira. Solitude, our grief. They surveil one. They put it on top. This is where they get to fairy or something. It's just awful. Could well be to fairy here. Okay, Kahira. It's going to solitude. Yeah. Okay. Okay, draw, let's play the rack and see if that can deal them all the damage. <laughs> Still only got one land. Okay, it's a fairy, bounce the rack probably. Okay, do you draw a land? But yeah, not looking great for us here. Okay, they find Narset. And Prismatic Ending. Well, we get to Thoughtseize, the ending. The rack is dealing them damage slowly but surely. But they get another activation from Narset. Okay, they find wear tear. I'm just gonna concede. No, we just have nothing. Hmm, control, yeah. Anything playing the ring I think is probably gonna be quite a bad matchup. Now we have bow masters and things, but yeah, that was just really tough. Um, don't know if I'd change anything. Like, I don't know. I think we didn't hit necessarily the matchups we want to prey on. So we're looking to prey on um, things like anything running the Leyline Scion um, kind of combination. Looking to to prey on that kind of stuff um, and then what else at the top of the meta uh, I think we're probably pretty good into the like reanimator style strategy as well with all our void walkers and main deck spell bombs and edicts and stuff so and cling to dust so I think yeah I'll, I want to run it again um, see if we can get a bit you know 
run into some different matchups that we might be slightly better against. Um, but yeah, hope everyone enjoyed that. Do let me know if um, you've got any suggestions on <laughs> maybe making those matchups a little bit better or, or what you think. But yeah, see you next time.